right it has been here in Mexico City, Mexico. What? Wait. Are you kidding me? Is this for real? Ladies and gentlemen, it's it's the big dog. It's Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is here tonight. What? I am completely at a loss for words. Roman Reigns is here tonight. This is a big surprise to everybody here in attendance here in Mexico City, Mexico for Unforgiven. Roman Reigns is not booked for a match here tonight. He's here. Is he back? Is he fully back to action? Well, all we know is that Roman Reigns is here tonight. We can't be more surprised and more appreciative here just to see him back. He's been out for injury ever since basically the first episode of CJM. Roman Reigns is here. And I'm glad to see Roman Reigns back in the full swing of things here. He looks to be in great shape after battling this injury that he's been having. I can't believe the big dog is here in his yard. It, see, it feels like it's been quite a long time since we've seen him make his entrance. Is he going to speak here tonight? I think so. Well, first, I'd like to thank the CJM and Pure Wrestling Universe to keeping their thoughts and their prayers for me here to come back as strong as ever. I know that when I would come back, I'd be at 100%. And quite frankly, to put it very blunt to all of you, I'm not at 100%. I'd say I'm at a good 85% right now. But no matter what, I'm going to be coming back to CJM because it's been my yard since day one. And I'm going to be back every week for each and every one of you in the crowd. That's right, the big dog is returning to his yard. And tonight at Unforgiven, tonight is just a little taste of how I'm going to come back stronger than ever. So I heard that the champion EC3 has been talking a lot of trash lately. And so was Andrade about my, my situation. But guess what? Now they have a chance to say it to my face. Everyone has a chance in the back to say it to my face and really tell me how they really feel. And they're gonna get what they deserve because right now, I don't play. When I come back to CJM, when I will, the CJM after Unforgiven, I will tell them to their face that the big dog is back. What a monumentous... No! What? Is that... It's Kevin Owens! What the hell? Kevin Owens! Him too? I can't... Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns are here tonight in Mexico. What are they doing here? They're not booked for tonight. Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns returning in the same time. This is absolutely shocking to me. Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns haven't been seen in a long time, especially Kevin Owens. We haven't seen him ever since that fateful night at Bash at the beach where he got a horrible injury to his knees. But he's here tonight. I, I'm at a loss for words. He's gonna speak too. Well, Roman, Roman, I'm not out here to ruin your moment and I'm not out here to tell you anything bad. Look, I'm glad that you're back in action and I'm glad that you're here live in Mexico I really want to applaud you for that you have a lot of strength and a lot of people admire you in the back I know it's weird hearing it from me 
But honestly, Roman, your story has just impressed everybody and just won the hearts of everyone in attendance. And that is amazing. Right now, I'm announcing that Kevin Owens is back. And Kevin Owens is going to the CJM brand. I heard Pure Wrestling is a little full right now. So therefore, Big Dog, I'm going home with you. And quite frankly, if anybody has anything to say to my face or to your face, I guess we'll reintroduce them to the real OGs of CJM. So Roman, congratulations, welcome back, and I can't wait to work with you in the near future. Why don't we just head out right now, go to the back, and say hi to the boys again. You know what, Kevin? You're right. I figure we go do that right now. Well, it seems like these two guys have just made an alliance here tonight. And I don't blame them because they're the most two popular stars here in all of the season. And I mean, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens out here tonight. Looks like they made an agreement. They made an alliance. And they're going to go say hi to the boys here tonight. Oh my, oh my God. What the hell? Kevin Owens. You got to be kidding me. Never trust Kevin Owens. No, come on. Oh my God, no, not on the ramp there. No, oh, the big knee to the gut. Owens, senton. No, come on. This is ab absolutely horrible. Ruining Roman Reigns' moment. Ruining his night. No, no, please. Not this. Kevin. No, Kevin Owens, no, 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 please. Please. No, look out. Oh my God. Pop up, power bomb. Onto the apron, Kevin Owens is still ruthless as ever, ruining Roman Reigns' moment of return here tonight. Absolutely selfish, absolutely horrible. Kevin Owens putting down Roman Reigns here tonight. Oh, here we go with the next one. As here are the Iconics coming out here tonight. Peyton Royce fighting here for the Female Takeover Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, there you see Billy Kay going to be in her corner here for tonight's match. Peyton Royce coming out here. She's going to be fighting Kyrie Sane, the Pirate Princess. And now, well, the only real way that Peyton Royce got this opportunity was that she beat Trish Stratus at True Destiny when it was the Iconics versus Trish and Lita. And now tonight, it's gonna look like maybe the Iconics might defeat Kyrie Sane in this strange duo of her and uh, Nikki Cross here tonight. And Peyton Royce just obviously cocky about her win over Tristratus that she believes she's going to become the next female takeover champion. Well, let's remember that the female takeover champion out of the two was Billy Kay, not Payton Royce. So Payton Royce has a big opportunity tonight. Oh my, here we go. Her opponent is right here. And there you see it. Harry Sane, the female takeover champion, accompanied by Nikki Cross, a former APW Women's Champion. Harry Sane, a former Mr. Uh, former Miss Money in the Bank holder. The only woman to, uh, I guess, kind of get a head start of the cash in. I mean, she didn't wait for her opponent to be down, really. Her opponent was standing up, standing strong until she cashed in. And let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that the Iconics are the only two women to, I guess, 
uh, create two titles, two versions of the female table title with the controversy of uh, Nixon Newell winning the fake title and having to have the real one on the line. And let me just remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that Nixon wins pay-per-view right here at Unforgiven. Sadly, she has missed Unforgiven, even though this is the perfect pay-per-view to pay tribute to her. She has missed Unforgiven due, still due to injury that Ruby Riot uh, made her get that injury back. Well, it started at Bash of the Beach, but it fully got hurt at Night of Champions. Well, now we got to talk about these women in this match as Peyton Royce looks to be ready to go. She looks to make history here tonight by winning the female takeover championship, beating Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane obviously uh, has held the title for quite a good amount of time, and she does not want to let go of that title. Obviously, the longest reigning female takeover champion is indeed Nixon Newell. Sadly like, sadly, like I said, she's not here tonight. But Kyrie's saying you have to believe she'll be fighting for her in this match. And uh, yes, the, if your eyes are not deceive, deceiving anybody, guys, I mean, the female takeover title looked different last season, and now it looks different this season due to the, you know, change in design of the front plate and the strap. And now here we go. The match has begun, and these two are going to get it started as Peyton Royce grabbing on the arm of Kyrie Sane and utilizing it to take her down. And really trying to work on the arm of Kyrie Sane here. We've seen multiple title matches here tonight. A lot of them been very amazing. Oh, clothesline there. This is the first... Uh, Women's title defense of the night. The next one being Tony Storm and Bianca Belair. And uh, well, Peyton Royce just stomping away at Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane gonna finally get tired of it. Gonna get up, but gets thrown into the corner. Peyton Royce with the kick to the gut. And now, oh my goodness, DDT right down to the head of Kyrie Sane. And now she's gonna go for the cover. Looking to catch her off guard, but no. Kick out there, Kyrie Sane slowly getting up, but forearm shot, and a big forearm shot there. She's just trying to take her down as much as she can, but oh my god, big reversal there. Kyrie Sane with a huge maneuver. Wow, what a big transition there for her. And that's what you have to do in these big type of matches. Not only does she have backup in Nikki Cross in case Billy Kay wants to get involved, but she has her arsenal of moves to take down Peyton Royce. Kyrie Sane, obviously such a versatile competitor. Oh my God, gets caught in the spear. Peyton Royce. And that's the reason why they defeated the team of Trish and Lita at True Destiny. People are wondering why and how. And Trish and Lita should have won. Well, the Iconics did their best and they came out victorious. And they showed Trish and Lita this new style of women's division, women's tag team division here. Hold on, cover. No. Kick out there by Peyton Royce. Oh, big kick. And now, oh, let's, look at this. Oh, my goodness. It looked like a another version of the Imploder Suplex, but what? Peyton Royce is rolling her up out of nowhere, but kick out there by Kyrie Sane. That came out of nowhere, that roll up. Peyton Royce, you can see she's desperate to become champ. I mean, you can't blame her. The title is on the line. Oh, my. There's that big kick. And look. Oh, goodness. Peyton Royce using it to her advantage. Those axe kicks. And again, using a third one to the face of the Pirate Princess. No. What a kick out. Peyton Royce looking really impressive here tonight. Hold on. No, no. Trying to go for the legs. But Kyrie Sane... Says no, oh my, Billy Kay getting involved. This is what I'm talking about. This is not good. Look out, oh no. Oh, false flat on her face. Nikki Cross looks upset that Billy Kay got involved. Hold on now. Peyton Royce 
There's that first one, the tribute here tonight. The, th the second one, and now the third one, a little bit different, but got the fisherman suplex. The cover, one, two, and whoa. A kick out there by Kyrie Sane. And now, look at this, dropping the leg. Oh, but no, reversal there by Kyrie Sane. Nobody home for Peyton Royce. He gets thrown in the corner. And now, oh my, oh gosh, she's choking her out with that maneuver now. Using the ropes to her advantage. Ref, come on. Peyton Royce just being cocky as ever here tonight. And now, look out. She's taking it to the top. Peyton Royce, what the hell is she going to do here tonight? What? Ooh, look out. Hurricane Rana. My God, from the top. Where have we seen Peyton Royce hit that type of maneuver? High risk. Will it pay dividends here tonight? Oh my, no. Her feet was on the bottom rope there. I'm pretty sure Nikki Cross noticed it. Uh-oh, wait a second. Oh my, Alabama slam right down to Peyton Royce. And now look at this, Kyrie Sane on the middle rope. She's looking to take a breather here, but a big splash nonetheless. And now she's going to go up top, possibly to finish the match here tonight. And now look out, Curry saved, oh my god. Bombs away, drop the insane elbow drop. One, two, and three. For the win, Curry Sane retains her female takeover championship tonight. Beautifully executed right here, you see it. The insane elbow drop smacking Peyton Royce right down onto the canvas. And your winner is Curry Sane. What an incredible title defense from Kyrie Sane here tonight. True champion. And honestly, well, there's Nikki Cross coming inside the ring after a big win from Kyrie Sane. Oh, she's pointing at the title. I think Nikki Cross wants next at Kyrie Sane. The next. Women's Championship match is taking place here tonight, right now. And here is Tony Storm here, the winner of the True Destiny Battle Royal, who earned this title shot here tonight at Unforgiven. She looks to become the next Women's Wrestling Champion here tonight. The title is going to be on the line. I don't know if she has a, a quite a chance against Bianca Belair. I mean, she won a battle royal against other five other competitors in the match, but it's going to be hard to dethrone the champ as she's been on a roll as of late, winning the title back at Extreme Rules a long time ago, the beginning of the season. And it's going to be quite a hard time that she's going to get title is going to be on the line Bianca Valera obviously she's won many of matches especially at Cyber Sunday when she won that ladder match against Carmella to retain her title she's beaten Sasha Banks she's beaten Bailey she's beaten Charlotte she's beaten almost everybody <laughs> There's that blue attire for that blue championship there that she has around her waist. Let's uh, let's remind ourselves how this title reign started. I mean, it was that turning point when it was a huge fatal four-way for the title. Obviously losing that match, but got a one-on-one -on -one rematch at Extreme Rules for the title, and that's when she won. And she's being many many competitors in her way even Ariel Monroe she's beating her she's I'd say she's probably even beat most of our roster here in the pure wrestling, the pure wrestling women's division as cocky as ever here is uh, Bianca Belair and she is the women's wrestling champion she has every right to I mean in my opinion I wouldn't see why 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, you see the crowd is ready for the, tonight's matchup here. The Women's Wrestling Championship will be on the line. And, well, you can see the competitors getting ready in tonight's matchup. There's Tony Storm here. Half red, white, and black attire here tonight. Paying tribute to all her attires that she's had in the past. And there's Bianca Belair, I guess, paying tribute to herself and her title when she has that light blue attire that she has on here tonight. And raising up her title with pride and joy as Bianca Belair, you can see that she took pride in lifting up that title, hoisting it up and showing it to the world here tonight. And the referee is gonna do the same, but to signify the beginning of the match. And here we go. The, the people have been wanting to see Tony Storm get a shot at the title. She's going to get one here tonight. The bell has rang, and these two are going to go at it here. Oh, look like a toss up in the corner there. And a referee has to break things up here. Maybe we can see a clean break, but oh, yeah, there is a clean break there from the two. And oh my, oh my goodness. Bianca Belair automatically charged it up. Tony Storm caught her. Whoa, right in the. Middle rope there. And oh my goodness, what a reversal there. Bianca Belair, shoulder tackles her down. You can't deny the strength of Bianca Belair in tonight's match. Like I said, and look at this. Oh my God. Ungodly strength there from Bianca Belair. As she, oh, plants her right to the canvas. Tony Storm needed to catch a breather there. Oh, big right hand. She picks her up, but Tony Storm knocks her down. And oh my, big boot right to the face from Bianca Belair, taking her down. And now throwing her back inside the ring, Bianca Belair looking to have those strikes be in play here tonight. She throws her right outside the ring again, come on. Count out is in effect, let me remind you ladies and gentlemen. And now, oh, but, oh God, big clothesline from Bianca Belair, taking her down. And now look at this, no, oh, big kick right to the gut. Big right hand, look at those shots from Tony Storm and German Oh, no, Bianca Belair counters right out of it. If she, noted, if she knows how to counter her German suplexes, I think Tony Storm is in deep trouble tonight. Uh oh, 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 deep arm drag. I thought Bianca Belair was gonna reverse that one, but no kick out there. And the backstage brawl at Pure Wrestling really set these two off into a collision course here tonight. Oh my, kip up there, but no. Tony Storm wasn't impressed. Big kicks right to the face. Oh my God, wait a second. Tony Storm again. Looked like a move right out of Daniel Bryan's book there. And now, Tony Storm, she's gonna, oh my, she's gonna wrench the arm back and she's gonna stomp on it. Oh my God, do you see how far it's going? Tony Storm, oh goodness. And the hair of Bianca Belair, the long hair. Oh my, she missed that knee it looked like. And now she throws Bianca Belair to the outside. Gonna put her back inside the ring. Oh, and drops her. And now Tony Storm now, what is she? Oh my goodness, look at this. Creative submission hold by Tony Storm. And, oh, wait, wait, Bianca Belair looks like she's getting out of it, and she does. And now, uh-oh, what, don't, cut her, no, turns it around, Bianca Belair gets caught, and now gets taken down by Tony Storm. Tony Storm now gonna go for the arm yet again. She knows that she uses those arms to lift up her opponents and to slam them down. That's why she's wearing them down. I think that's a smart plan, a smart idea from Tony Storm's side. And now throws her back down. Tony Storm, look out. They're gonna drag her, I don't know where, but she's looking to drag her right to the, oh, to the other side of the ring on the apron there. Look out. Oh my goodness, back suplex. 
And a kip up yet again from Bianca Belair. And boom, there's the big kick there by Tony Storm, leveling Bianca Belair. Will we see a Storm Zero here tonight? One, two, and a kick out from the big boot to the face. I think she waited too long to cover Bianca Belair. She could have been champ right there and then. Oh my God, wait a second. Storm Zero, Storm Zero. One, two, and a kick out. Almost there, Tony Storm almost got the three count. That Storm Zero hitting out of nowhere. Look at these form shots knocking down Bianca Belair. She's gonna do it again, but no. Uppercut there by the champ, and the champ, oh look out. She lifts her up and brings her right down. The same move that finished all of her opponents in the past to finish off Tony Storm tonight. And no, Tony Storm kicks out. Lifting the shoulder up at the last second, Tony Storm really trying to get out of that one. And now, oh my, we've seen this maneuver before, looking to wear down her opponent here. And oh my goodness, yet again, oh, slams her down right on her face. I don't even know if you can stop the strength of Bianca Belair. Look out. Oh, big splash right to the back. He's going to drag her right to the center. And now, oh, God, again. She's going to use this maneuver again against Tony Storm. I mean, if it works, might as well use it. Am I right? I mean, honestly, she picks up her lifeless body, it looks like. Oh, these two fighting for position. Tony Storm shoves her off. Big knee to the face yet again. The big knee to the face, getting her net down off her feet in the cover. No, Bianca Belair still kicking out of that one. Bianca Belair can be stuck anytime. Uh oh, oh man, submission hold there. Bianca Belair, she might tap out here tonight. Hold on, hold on. Wait, can we see a tap out from the champ? But no. Tony Storm lets her go. She thinks it's going to be a better idea if she hits the Storm Zero. Look out, big kick. And Storm Zero for the title. This is what she's been waiting for. And oh my God, she almost got her. Almost getting the title in her hands. Tony Storm almost winning tonight's match. Bianca Belair tosses her to the corner. What's she going to do? She's going to lift her up. I don't know what, oh my God, what does she have in mind? Oh, big right hand in the face. What the hell is this? Oh God, it looks like a suplex from the top. Look out, oh my goodness. We're hurting the back there, Tony Storm might not be able to get up any, anytime soon. Big boot to the gut. We've seen this maneuver time and time again, oh no. Bianca Belair. Looks to pit. No, no, no. Wait, look at this. Tony Storm still has some life left in her. Tony Storm has got her. Look. Oh, my arm trap German suplex with the taunt. Tony Storm is prepared to end the war here tonight. And she throws her to the corner. Here we go. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Uppercuts raining down on Bianca Belair. And oh, again. She's not stopping. She's well, she's gonna end her opponent. Look out, goodness gracious. The fortitude from Tony Storm and the big knee to the face. Tony Storm, she's looking to take her out for good. Oh my God, here we go. We might have a new champion crown it tonight. The kick to the gut. Storm Zero, got her. She hooks it, she's almost. She did it! Tony Storm is your new women's wrestling champion! The Storm Zero did it! Right there, Tony Storm! You can see the closing moments of the match! Storm Zero, one, two, and the three count! Absolutely incredible! As she has the title in hand! Finally! After a long amount of time, she can call herself the women's wrestling champion. Hunting for it for a season and a half. Finally getting the job done.
This is the matchup we've been waiting for tonight, and it's happening right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Triple threat hell in a cell. Johnny Gargano got placed in the match by beating Finn Balor. He earned his opportunity in tonight's matchup. And it looks like he is going to get what he wants here tonight. Finn Balor obviously upset that he tapped to the Gargano escape on CJM, allowing Gargano to enter tonight's match. And look at this view of him above the steel structure there. Johnny Gargano looks like he has that attire to take over. CJM, and especially here at Unforgiving. And he has to go through two other men to do so. Here is the Demon King. Here is Finn Balor. Obviously, coming out here tonight for his title shot. Finn Balor competed in a six-pack challenge on CJM to earn this opportunity. It was either six or eight-pack challenge. I can't remember, but I think it was a six-pack challenge. Finn Balor ended up beating everybody in the match, well, uh, just eliminating the last competitor, surviving till the end, defeating Samoa Joe. Of course, Finn Balor here tonight will want anything but to win and become the next CJM champion. He's only been USA champion, pure wrestling champion, former Mr. Money in the Bank holder. The only man to hold the pure wrestling and APW United States champion at the same time. Obviously the longest reigning USA champion, nine pay-per-views straight. Ben Balor, he feels like he needs this CJM championship to solidify his career. And I think that's what it, he might need. Finn Balor here tonight looking to become the next champion. Johnny Gargano, the only thing he's done is become USA champion. Um, he's, been, he's been a two-time APW Tag Team champion. So that's it. I don't, I don't think Gargano has become became anything else but those accolades there. He started off as a tag team guy and then obviously got betrayed by his partner, therefore leaving him as a singles competitor in APW and obviously moving to CJM after that. Now he finds himself in quite a predicament against a formidable opponent and the champ. I am in the top 1%. Here is the CJM champion. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is EC3. EC3 obviously saying on CJM that it's not his fault that people are hating on him as champion. He is a champion in his own right. He said that he's a former Mr. Money in the Bank holder for a reason, and he's a first CJM champion, you know, winning it for his first time here, obviously. That's the only thing EC3 has done. This is his first ever title around his waist, his first ever singles title around his waist, and people are criticizing him and backstabbing him in the back for holding this title. This is the first time EC3 has ever held a championship in history of Universe Mode in all the four seasons that he's been here. He's never held a title. This is his first championship. And my God, it's a major one. After winning the Money in the Bank matchup, it shot him up into superstardom for the title. That leaves him here tonight in Mexico. Going to fight for the... We're going to defend his CJM championship. 
in a triple threat hell in a cell match. It was originally going to be him versus Finn Balor. But no, we all know the events that took place. And now here we go. The title is going to be on the line. There you see the title hoisted up there. And well, you see all these three men in the ring right now. The rep is going to hold up that title. The title that's been here since day one. And look at these competitors ready to go. They're locked in and they're loaded. Here we go. Oh, God, a slap right to Balor, right to Gargano from Finn Balor at first. Is, any, ever, is anybody going to just team up on Balor? Oh, my God, German suplex there. PC3 and going to go for Gargano here tonight. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. There is that big knee to the face. Johnny Gargano looking to get brought down here. But, oh, EC3 is the one to get brought down in tonight's match. Big kick right to the back. Gargano now big right hands. Big back kick right to the gut. And look at these two going to team up on the champ. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. Johnny Gargano. I don't know what he was thinking there, but he rolled out of harm's way. I guess nobody home for Gargano. Leaves EC3 and Balor in the ring alone. Miscommunication. Balor with the kick. And forearm shot missed it. Oh, clothesline from hell. From EC3 and again, but no Gargano putting him on the apron there. Gargano going for the knee of the chest. Leveling the champ, and there's a block from Balor. And oh my god, drop to a hold to Balor as well. And here goes the knee of the chest. Got him. And now, here we go. The cover has been made. No. EC3 got up using the, the cell there, but oh my goodness. Oh, that's a familiar maneuver. That's a familiar Rainmaker from EC3. Oh, big chop trading blows there. Countering, and he, oh my, Gargano just popping up at all. Oh, ben Balor just ruining the move of Gargano there. As now the coup de grace or anything can be used to take down their opponent here tonight. And, I mean, the cell walls have broken before. I'm not sure if it's going to break here tonight. Or well, what's going to happen here tonight? Gargano trying to go for a drop kick there. And, oh, boom, jump breaker by EC3. EC3 now. Uh oh, oh my, there's that. Oh, patented maneuver. And Gargano stuck in the corner there. Look out. Oh, the one for center. Oh, my God. EC3 is just wiping out the competition. Can this be the ending of the match? Oh, well, oh, Balor. Balor countered. He countered DDT right down to the canvas. The cover's in place, but the kick out by EC3. Great counter, countering the TKO by EC3 is Finn Balor. Balor German suplex right to Gargano. And now, oh my God, big reversal by Gargano. A lot of these men are reversing their maneuvers here tonight. And here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, taking him down. And now, going to get the pin, but no. And now, uh oh, Gargano has a hold of him. DDT right to EC3. And now, uh oh my god, the Gargano escape. The Gargano escape, will he tap out here tonight? But no, Balor just interrupting the maneuver. And now, oh my God, Finn Balor, here we go. Balor on a roll, but no, gets caught in the single leg Boston Crab, and no. Can you imagine, Gargano almost made EC3 tap out to the Gargano escape. Balor, wait a second, is Balor gonna steal the pin? No. It was too long there, Gargano. I didn't even see on my monitor that Gargano went for the Gargano escape. That's why I looked, and it, I just was shocked there. Oh, EC3 with that huge maneuver. 
And uh oh, oh, big right hand there. And now EC3. Oh no. EC3 now. Maybe. Is he thinking of tag team? Oh my god. They're looking at double team on Gargano. But oh, there's the alliance that breaks up. That's the beauty of a triple threat match. Look out. Throws him to the, the turnbuckle. But no. EC3 getting that big kick. Big right hand, but no, doesn't get it there. Oh, no. EC3. Oh, there's that knee to the face. EC3 fatigued. Gargano picking up Balor for some reason. And now, I think he should have went for EC3. That was his mistake there. Look out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Fighting for position here yet again. Oh, he catches EC3 by accident there. And look at this. Oh, my God. Right down to Finn Balor. He's got it. He's going to lock in a submission hold here. Barry Tech Balor manages to fight out of it. And now, uh-oh, he's got him up. We've seen the... No, no, no. He's getting out of the Gargano. Getting out of that maneuver. Puts him in the corner. And EC3... Oh, EC3, EC3 trying to go for that knee again. But, uh oh interrupting Gargano's maneuver. Now he's going to suplex him right now. Oh, never mind. He's going to face plant him right on the ground there. EC3 looking to take advantage of this moment. Drops him down. EC3 picks him up. EC3 got him. TKO. TKO bouncing off the canvas to retain his title. Two. And oh my God, so close. Oh, oh my, wait a second. Oh my, submission hold in place. Gargano, he sees what's happening in the ring and he interrupts it automatically. Oh, and Finn Balor obviously reversed it as well. Wanting to stay champion. Look, a short alliance happening again. Oh, but Finn Balor automatically getting up. Balor tossed down Gargano right to the middle rope. And now stops or knees him right in the chest. Leaves EC3 and himself alone in the ring. Look out, turns him around. I think we know what's coming. The shotgun drop kick to win him the CJM championship. Look out. Oh my goodness. Shotgun drop kick. And now he's going to drop a bomb right on EC3. Here it comes. Can we be looking for it? And... Uh, Coup de Gras, no, what? EC3, EC3, oh my God! With a big knee right to the face! And now EC3 gonna throw Balor right outside the ring here tonight. And EC3 really gonna be smart. I mean, he's inside, hell in a cell. What more can you ask for? Look out, oh God, just throwing Balor right onto the cell there. And now, oh no, 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 oh goodness! Not again. Come on. Look out. Oh, God. Dragging Finn Balor. Making sure. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Balor fighting back here. Balor. Look out. Oh, oh, my God. The caged wall just broke there. And Finn Balor. Gee, he's going to go after EC3 for damn sure. The cage wall has just been broken. Gargano is still down and out. Oh, oh my god, huge uppercut there, fighting on the outside of the steel cage, of the steel structure. And EC3 really gonna, I don't know what he's gonna do, but this is tough for him right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen. As, uh oh, he's leaving to the other side. EC3 looks to go away from Balor here tonight. Oh, oh, he's swinging a miss there, but he caught him. Look out, oh, throws him into the cell and headbutts him. And EC3 gonna plan an escape here. EC3 gonna plan an escape, but Balor is gonna be right on his tail here tonight. I can guarantee you that these two might not be the same after going through what they're going through here tonight. And uh, oh my, Balor is going up as well. And you can see Gargano still towering out. I don't know if he's playing possum or what, but EC3 and Balor are up top here. And oh my, oh wait, Balor, oh my goodness. Look out, Sling Blade right on top of the steel structure. Look out, Balor now. Balor, maybe he's looking for, 
A huge, oh, suplex maneuver right there in the center. And I mean, you can't doubt the heart of these two men here tonight. Uh oh, oh, God. Bringing him down. And now, oh, God, he's just trying to escape from there. I can't blame him. Oh, STO right there in the corner. You have to be very careful in this predicament here tonight. And he throws him right in the center, right where he wants him. And I mean, really, this is what you want to do. You want to isolate your opponent so that way, oh, God, you do a lot of damage. Oh, goodness. Right on top of the cell. That's got to hurt more EC3 than it does to Balor here tonight. Look out. Oh, knee right to the gut there. And now look out. Oh, my, just the big right hands there. EC3 sending down Balor. Oh, my God, look out. No, oh, God, right on the centerpiece of the cell. EC3 here tonight. Please, no, anything can burst that cell out right now. Oh, God, that, can't, that, that cage is weak. Please, somebody don't fall through there. Uh oh, 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 God, Balor fighting back. Enziguri leaves him helpless. And now look out. Try to prolong this battle up top here. Oh, my God, right down onto that cell. Somebody's going to get put through it, and I think this is going to end up being bad for one of these stars here tonight. Look out. Oh, oh, gets taken down with ease. Balor looking to pick up EC3 here yet again, but EC3 fighting back. Look at these strikes there by EC3. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. EC3 getting up, and uh, um, Finn Balor's down and out. He's going to try to get down there. What can he do? Wait, Gargano's up. Gargano's up. EC3 is going to make the climb. Gargano is going to finish the match. EC3 is going to. He's trying to climb down. He's trying to get in the. Oh my God. Johnny Gargano. Gargano covers. EC3 is still climbing down the, the cage. Two. Oh my God. Johnny Gargano is CJM champion. How the hell did this happen? Look at this. Super kick. Right to the face, EC3 still trying to climb down, and Gorgano pinned Finn Balor. You gotta be kidding me. They lifted up the cell, EC3's upset. Johnny Gargano is CJM champion. Never in my days would I thought this would happen. This is absolutely insane. Johnny Gargano is CJM champion. Oh my God, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm absolutely speechless, my God. And now the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, coming off the Triple Threat Hell in a Cell, we go to this match. Burn it down. Oh my, here we go. Seth Rollins looks to burn it down here live in Mexico City, Mexico for Unforgiven to become the next Pure Wrestling Champion. A championship that has eluded him his whole career here in Pure Wrestling. Seth Rollins is finally gonna get a title shot. He's up against Pac. Undoubtedly one of the toughest superstars that I've ever seen in Pure Wrestling. But Seth Rollins is out here tonight to prove to himself and to prove to everybody in attendance here tonight that he is going to make sure he puts him down. And well, Seth Rollins out here tonight in that special attire. 
to get the job done, ladies and gentlemen. We know Seth freaking Rollins. He wants to become champion. He needs to become champion. And well, he's going to have to, uh, quite a feat to do to take this man out. Here he is. Pac is in the building here tonight. Coming off of that triple threat Hell in a Cell match, we go to the main event. And well, I can't see anybody else main eventing a pay-per-view, closing out a pay-per-view than Pac and Seth Rollins. Un arguably two of the biggest stars in universe mode history. Seth Rollins claims that he was turning it down. He was conquering all the titles in APW. He became a Grand Slam champion. Meanwhile, Pac was gone for the whole season, last season. And it was true, I mean, Seth Rollins did become Grand Slam champion in the, in the span of a season while Pac was gone. He wasn't anywhere to be found. Season three, he wasn't involved at all. And now that he's made a big comeback, he is the pure wrestling champion. Obviously becoming Mr. Money in the Bank and now having the pure wrestling title around his waist. Pac is also, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, a former APW US champion. Even though he tried to go for the USA champion in CJM, he did uh, beat Adam Cole, who is now the leader of Undisputed Era. He did beat him in the past to successfully be USA champion. He's never been CJM champion, but he is the pure wrestling champion now. He targeted Daniel Bryan first, claiming that everybody cared about Daniel's big comeback and everybody was hyped about Daniel Bryan and he wants to put an end to him and therefore, well, he did. Cash in on an opportune time and really got the job done and, well, we haven't seen Daniel Bryan since. He beat Shinsuke Nakamura on Pure Wrestling, the go-home show to Unforgiven. And obviously Seth Rollins winning that uh, huge matchup, that huge triple threat match between himself, Okada, and AJ Styles to become the number one contender. There's that big bad kick. Seth Rollins going for that. No, oh, drop toe hold there by Pac. And now look out, Irish whip. Oh, ducks under. Big super kick, no, that super kick that caught Nakamura, but instead gets reversed and gets taken down by Rollins. Oh my goodness. And oh, Pac getting up, and oh, gets, oh my goodness, gets a knee to the face, he tried to go for the back kick, gets a knee to the face there, and now Pac gonna get back inside the ring. Hold on, gets thrown right on the turnbuckle padding there. Seth rolls out of harm's way, but gets back inside to ensure, oh my goodness, to see if he can become the next champ. Now, look out, oh, big uppercut there. Big back kick finally gets him, floors him, big kick to the face. Pac knows those combinations like no other man. Changing his name, changing his style here. As a ruthless competitor, he was never like this before. Pac was always a good guy. Pac was always the guy that you can count on to uh, elevate top stars. And oh my God, now he's just a ruthless competitor. But Rollins escapes. Rollins has to be careful here against this champ. He's like, he's, I don't think he's like any other man he's faced before. Oh, reversal there by Rollins. And now... Pac throws him into the corner. Drop kick right to the back, but Seth automatically gets up with the knee. Pac trying to roll out of arm's way. 
And uh oh, oh, he got trying to roll out, but gets to come with a super kick. Rollins roll through, gets that super kick. We can see the stomp here live tonight. Look out! And the stomp by Rollins into the cover to become champion. One, two, and a kick out by Pac. The bastard kicking out here tonight against Seth Rollins, but Rollins getting up to the top. Rollins, here we go, oh no! Rollins missed it. Rollins gets knocked down with a big, big maneuver right to the ground. Pack just full, building a full head of steam here. Look out, over here, oh my God. Big flying form right to the face as Rollins gets knocked down. And now he gets thrown right to the outside. What's gonna happen here? Pack, oh God, no, I know what's coming. Right to the floor. And the back of Seth Rollins has to be killing him here tonight. And I don't know what Pack wants to do, but oh, just stopping on the face of Rollins. Come on, wait, what? Pack, this is not a no disqualification match. What are you doing? Pac, what are you doing? This is this is not an ODQ match. This is a normal match. He's gonna put Rollins through the damn announcer's table. Oh no! Oh god, please no. Rollins, look out here! He's stacked up on the table! Oh my! Oh my god! He missed it! He missed the damn table! Pac just crashed and burned! And now Rollins throws him right to the Unforgiven fence there. Oh my goodness, just raining the punches right down on Pac. Referee is in shock. He doesn't know whether to call for medical help or to do what. Oh, he gets thrown into the steps. And Pac obviously, oh my goodness, getting flinged around everywhere here tonight. I don't know even, I don't know what to do. Look out, thrown right into the guardrail. And now Rollins throws Pac inside the ring. He looks to finish things off here tonight. Oh, wait a second. I think he's looking for something even bigger. Here we go. Rollins. He's going to go for that knee. And now look at the knee. Oh, my God. He just landed awkwardly on that knee. Seth Rollins is out. you got to be kidding me. Rollins. Rollins, look out. No. Black arrow from Pac. Seth Rollins clutches the knee, and it's over. Did you see the way Seth Rollins landed on his knee? Oh my God. That Pac retained the title here tonight. Seth Rollins' knee just gave out at the end there, and I don't know what to say. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this pay-per-view has just all been incredible. And look at Pac, just the last man standing, celebrating with the championship. Obviously, the result Seth Rollins did not want. Did you see the way his knee just gave out there? Pac, I think he might have just re-injured Seth Rollins. Rollins went for that knee and couldn't get the job done. Oh my God, I just don't want to see that replay of Rollins just landing on his knee there. Absolutely horrible. And that's the that was the beginning moments to close out the match. Pac noticed that Rollins was hurt. Rollins was hurt badly. And well, he still went for the black arrow and took advantage of the moment. And therefore, Pac is still your pure wrestling champion. Raising the title up here tonight to end Unforgiven here in Mexico City, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this episode, if you like this paper, you please leave a like, share with your friends. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, things are not looking good for Rollins. He hurt his leg bad. His knee is hurt really bad. And well, ladies and gentlemen, we need some help out here. Referee's throwing up the X. All I have to say is, well, if you like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends. If you like this pay-per-view, just share with your friends, leave a like, show some support, comment down below. What was your favorite match? We'll keep you updated. Keep watching CJM and Pure Wrestling.